twists and turns of Sweetguard's tongue and the white lies she uses to make friends is making my head spin. How can such a young lass be able to lie so well? I have brave, zealous, lustful, kind, proud, gardener, <laughs> scarred, Damascus steel sword and skilled technician. I am not in favor of lying, I don't think. It doesn't say that I'm honest, but I'm also not deceitful. I could say, no, the goal justifies the means, in which case she gains the trait deceitful. Or I could say, Luitgard, your tongue will cause you problems, in which case there's an 80% chance she gains the trait honest and 20% chance she gains the trait deceitful. I think I would say the latter. Again, I'm not honest myself, but I'm also not deceitful. I think I'd discourage it. Luitgard speaks the truth whenever possible and never seems to lie. She's gained the honest trait. She's got a buttload of traits for such a young lady. Proud, envious, honest, gregarious, charitable, and content. Claim on the barony of Gosler, huh? What about Emma? I guess I should check her traits, huh? She came back to me from the Kaiser. She is diligent, deceitful, temperate, chaste. Uh oh, that's not good. For marrying her off, anyway. And just. Her traits are presentable. Favors himself as the heir. Yeah, here we go. It's all falling apart. Wait a minute. What was that? Kaiser Heinrich the Sixth of the Holy Roman Empire has been imprisoned by Caliph Nasser. Oh, what? Am I still the heir? Nope. I'm tied with. Okay. You know what? I am gonna vote for myself now. <laughs> Because if the if the Kaiser like dies or something or gets executed, I would inherit. Like I know that the chances of that happening are perhaps slim, but uh, I'm gonna cross my fingers. Oh, Duke Pons of Provence has founded the Duke Pons for Holy Roman Empire faction. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man, that would be so awesome if that's happened. I, 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 I couldn't influence that at all, could I? Who's Kalif Nasser? You have a prisoner, sir. He's got a very handsome wife. Um, hmm. So I was like wondering if maybe there was a hey will you assassinate your prisoner for me? Execute your prisoner for me? That would really be doing me a solid favor, buddy. But no, I I don't have that ability, I don't think. Apparently I'm leading troops in Baden. What am I doing? Oh, I'm marching into the war, I suppose. The war goes ill for us. Hmm. For the Holy Roman Empire, I mean. Wow. What a turn of events. I'm suddenly the heir, and the Kaiser is in prison. Heinrich the Fourth found. Okay, so there's a buttload of factions going on right now, aren't there? Everybody wants their own. Either wants to be independent or wants to make themselves leader of the Holy Roman Empire. So who's got the most impressive. This, obviously, Lower Crown Authority does. Uh, but Duke Friedrich, Duke Marquardt has a 22% of his liege. Duke Diedrich the Fourth for Holy Roman Empire. Whose is that? Who's leading? Quit it, you stupid. Here, pause it for a second. I don't know why it does that. It keeps bumping back up to the top of the list without me doing it. Yeah, that's right. Ordolf of Franconia. Um, what would lowering crown authority do? I forget what that will actually accomplish. Vessels enjoy a very large degree of autonomy, but have to provide their leech with a fairly substantial portion of their le levies. 
Actually, tend to favor weak state. I think I might join that faction, the lower crown authority. Let's get it even higher. Yeah, check that out. 180% now. Maybe the Kaiser will have to respond. Although he's in prison. I wonder if he can respond while he's in prison. I think I'll join my own faction, too. Seems to be the prudent thing to do. Duke Dietrich. Uh, again? Quit doing that game. Why would you do that? Why would you scroll back to the top? Uh, where did it go? Duke Dietrich the Fourth. I'm backing it. 34% of liege. Okay, fine. All right. Uh, College of Cardinals. Adrian of Ypres has founded the Duke Friedrich for the Holy Roman Empire faction. Whew. Boy. It's been eventful. I don't think the Kaiser is necessarily going to die on me, but if he did, I just can't. I can't get enough of looking at this. I'm the heir to the Holy Roman Empire. Huh. Hmm. Okay. My liege, says Mayor Everard, my steward. I have collected a tithe in Lorraine. The money should reach you together with this letter. Your humble steward, Mayor Everard of Commercy. Excellent news, Mayor Everard. Let's take advantage of this. Do some improvements. I think what I want to do, go to bar and purchase the training grounds, which will up my retinue size. Thinking I want to improve my retinue. That's expensive, but and it'll be a while till it's done. Also, increase my levy reinforcement rate and up the morale of my armies a little bit. Hmm. Yes. Well, let's see. I could maybe I could use the money more wisely. What about in Lorraine? Light infantry and archers, levy size increase. Barracks will give me more heavy infantry and pikemen. Stables would give me light cavalry. And jousting lists would give me heavy cavalry, but it would pretty much take up more money than I'm interested in spending right now. I can also build the training grounds, which will increase morale, levy reinforcement, and retinue side. Oh, pretty much the same thing that I would be doing in... Then why is this grayed out? But over here in bar, it's not grayed out, it's right up here. And it costs more, too. Retinue size of plus 20. 281, but still a retinue size of plus 20. Oh, I'm going to do this one, then. Are you sure you wish to build training grounds in Nancy? Yes. It'll be built faster, and it costs less money, and I get the same retinue bonus. Which I will take. I'm sitting here at 429 out of 489. I could... Uh... for heavy cavalry and light cavalry, but then I wouldn't be able to get all of them in there, I don't think. But, create a night retinue. This will start out almost empty, but reinforce at the specified size. Heavy cavalry at 150, light cavalry at 100. Cost to create 168, retinue cap usage 1200. Projected monthly cost 3.9. Ooh, that's expensive. I cannot create this retinue. My maximum retinue cap has been reached. Hmm. Yeah, I should have. Wish I would have thought about it more or known, you know, better at the beginning. I would have done the he the cavalry retinue from the start. As it is now, I have to wait till my retinue cap increases enough. Because I don't know if it, unless I. <laughs> I was gonna say unless I take my army out and get it completely smashed, but then it would reinforce these types of troops. It wouldn't re. I couldn't. Still, I don't know if I could get rid of them. The the capacity and insert this instead. I don't know, but we'll have to wait. Okay, my daughter Emma, Emma, ooh, she turned out rather pretty. Look, red hair, blue eyes. She's gorgeous. 
I'm a proud papa of such a beautiful daughter. She became a brilliant strategist. Huh. Doesn't do a young lady much good, unfortunately, but it's fine. It seems to be that the military skill runs strongly in this family. She's still uh, diligent, deceitful, temperate, chaste, and just. She's got a decent stewardship, very good martial score, decent intrigue, crap learning, crap diplomacy. She is uh, got a combat modifier of experimentality, plus 54%, unpredictable leader, plus 30%, martial influence times 1.8. She's an unpredictable leader. Which probably isn't that good. Uh, the enemy won't see it coming, though, so it... Well, okay, anyway, this is all academic, because it's not like she's going to be leading troops, I don't think. But we need to get her married to someone who could become a powerful ally for us. Preferably someone German, though I'm not seeing... These are all... We're already down to the counts, no. Um... Okay, so then somebody close by is what we'd prefer next. Let's get that over to the side there. Okay, I'm getting kind of sick of the Christmas music now. It was cute, now it's getting old. Uh, Greater Poland. Poland is not... Hang on a second. Poland is not terribly far, uh, but far enough that it would be... The war would be pretty close to decided by the time he got there. Prince Vladimir of Levkovo, Russia, Kingdom of Rus. Yeah, that's a long way away. Duke of Leon. Where the hell is it? Oh, that's that's even farther away than Poland, pretty much. Duke of Lothian. That's going to be very far. Yeah, Scotland. Scotland! Uh, Duke of Kent. Yeah. Not terribly far, but got to go overland. Duke of Flanders. Flanders might be close. Flanders is... What is this? What is... What, 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 what am I looking at? Duke of Berry. Anyway, whatever. He's somewhere right here in the center of France. But it's also looking like France won't last much longer. Um, Greek, too far away. Petty King of Munster, uh, too far away. Duke of Norway. Duke in Norway, rather. Eh, very far away. And then we get into the Counts. Don't want to deal with the Count. I want a Duke. Um, I'm thinking the Duke of Greater Poland. Or Duke of Flanders. No, wait, hang on. He's 58, though. That's, uh, that's pretty old. Duchy of Greater Poland. Okay. He also has County of Poznan and the County of Gdansk. Hmm. Well, it's not nothing, but it's not ideal. It's pretty far away. Really like a German duke, but I don't think that any of them are unwed right now. Search the realm for men. Uh, any, I suppose. Not married. We want them to be a ruler. We want them to be my religion. We want them to be my culture group. We want them to be adult. And we want them to be a great house. Still, this isn't... Married. Oh, this is showing us unmarried, yes. Uh, and these are all prince bishops and counts. 
One of the Martukes. Damn. Um. Super coin. Count Otto. Duchy of Upper Burgundy. Ulrich. Do you have a son that needs to get married? No, he's married. And your daughter, yeah, you don't. Your other son is dead. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, maybe I'll just go with Greater Poland. That's a long way away, but I'd have an ally. It's something, you know. And my daughter's ridiculously pretty. He's old, though. Old fart. I don't know if I want to marry my daughter off to somebody that old. Then again, the Duke of Flanders is 59, so he was going to be my second choice. Alright. Duke of Greater Poland it is. He would say yes. Emma would gain 9 prestige. Would you say yes to a matrilineal? Of course not. I wonder, I wonder why not. You've already got your heir. What do you care, buddy? And we get an alliance with the Duke of Greater Poland. Alright. That's the best we can do, I suppose. Message in two days. There we go. To the most excellent Duke Dietrich IV. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept your suggestion that Emma and Duke Przemyslav get, uh, the second, get married. Very good. Emma has left my court. So now for allies, I have Duke of Gre I can't call him in. Not there. I can only call other vassals in the same realm. God damn it. So what's the point of calling him an ally then? Son of a bitch. So I still only have the Duke of Baden, basically. Ah, that sucks. Man. So why do they consider him an ally, then? Like, I mean, obviously the alliance between the marriage, but then... Uh, why... Why is he... I mean, if you can't call your ally into war, why, why? how do you consider him an ally, then? I guess that's my question. Why call him an ally? All right, let's see. New important decisions are available. The following important decisions uh, demand Lord Crown authority. I get to deliver the ultimatum? Uh, why am I the one to deliver it? I'm just a backer. I'm not the one who's started leading the faction. Yes, I am. <laughs> when did that happen? When did I become the leader of this faction? Who backed out and made me the damn leader? Oh, shit. Well, it's 114%. Oh, it's not as much as it was before, though. Hmm. Uh, at peace, not a prisoner. Wait, does that mean that the Kaiser was set free? Doesn't say. Is the Kaiser still imprisoned? He is! How can he consider this ultimatum if he's in prison? Maybe that will influence his decision to just accept it. Um, we're at peace, don't have a truce. Boy. Well. Let's do it, I guess. I don't know. Let's see where this goes. Rather than risking civil war tearing the realm apart, I have decided to give in to your demand and lower the crown authority. But this treacherous act of blackmail will not be forgotten. He likes me a lot less. Oh, and his heir is still Prince Baldwin. So what the bloody hell? But by voting, it's still me. It's still me! Why isn't it me? But really, why isn't it me? 
Vassals are a law unto themselves, ruling their fiefs like petty kingdoms. Their obligations to their liege are minimal. Oh boy. Okay, so the Kaiser's gonna like me less. Supports a different heir. I'm a faction member. Humble versus proud. I imagine it will probably go down even more here in a minute once this thing gets reflected in the score. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's, it takes down his health. Oh, man, I hope he dies. I hope he dies. I don't know, though. His son is still listed as his heir, even though I am the elected heir. Oh, but meanwhile, I can change laws with impunity now, right? Okay, let's do this. Now, how does this change things? Can I switch to primogeniture? Oh, no. Has to have either high crown authority or absolute crown authority. So what did lowering crown authority get for me? <laughs> Autonomous vassals. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. But I don't quite know what it is I get to do with that. All these factions. I wonder how I get people to join my faction. How do I do that? Can I invite someone to join a faction? Like... Uh, like... Duke Henrik? I, 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 there should be a way, I would think. There should be a way, but apparently not. Right, okay. Well, this is interesting. If somebody can explain to me why, despite me being the voted for heir, somehow the Kaiser's son is still the heir. Unless the rule has changed, and it just hasn't been reflected in the election. Papal investiture, low centralization, administration. Doesn't say anything about inheritance. Hmm. Agnatic elective. The ruler in each lower ranked vessel can nominate a successor from among themselves and legitimate children and siblings of the ruler. Dukes are valid electors in both kingdoms and empires. Elective succession is very popular with the vassals, but they will not approve if their liege personal, personally holds too many elector titles. Only males can inherit. Strange. Don't get it. Don't get this. That's what I'm saying. Well, anyway. Let's hope that the Kaiser kicks it while I'm still electable. Wife Nunzia is pregnant yet again. I hope something happens soon. I'm 56. Uh, I mean, it regard with regard to the Kaiser and all that. I could freaking inherit the Holy Roman Empire. Be awesome. Let's take a look. What is the? He is the. Duke of Luxembourg, the Duke of Susa, Count, 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 Count. Claim on the Duchy of Flanders. The son was born to Egonoth von Ferdun and Sophia Khan, named Istvan. Welcome, Istvan. College of Cardinals business. Alright, so what should I be doing now? I've got more gold. Um, probably want to save it, though. In the oubliette, oof. Caliph is not being kind to you, Kaiser. Is the war still on? The war is still on. I was going to say, why hasn't anybody ransomed him yet? But it's because the war is still being fought. Meanwhile, I do have a claim on Nordgau, but I want to wait. The Wheat Guard asks, I, I want to wait on the claim on Nordgau until I 
maybe this Kaiser thing. I just want to see what happens. Uh, Luitgard asks, since we all die anyway, why be so hassled about life? Hmm. Well, I'm zealous. Brave. I'm lustful and kind. I'm proud, but I'm a gardener. Uh, this character likes nothing better than to put her away in the garden, growing herbs and exotic fruit trees. I think that means that I don't want to be hassled about life. You're right. 50% chance she gains the trait chaste, 50% chance she gains the trait temperate. Or I could say, what about the enjoyment? She could gain the trait lustful or gluttonous. No, I think she's right. I'm a gardener. I like taking things easy myself. Luitgard always seems uh, seems to always be moderate and never does anything to excess. She has gained the temperate trait. Hmm. 